Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. Right now, there is rising concern over the youth protest, especially last night at Thammasat University, Rangsit Campus. And what will be the implication of the gesture of protester and tension between the government and protester? What will happen next? Thai PBS World tonight, Kunthep Chayong and me talk to Dr. Ekapan Bintavanit from Mahidon University. Many people think that the, the protesters have crossed the line. Do you think they have done so? Uh, the thing is, like, uh, personally, I still haven't really listened to uh, all the speaking of last night. But uh, from the summary that I have read from several news, uh, both like uh, mainstream news and, yeah. and uh, even social media, it, it is hard to be to uh, say that uh, whether it is crossing the line. But uh, I would like to exp uh, address certain principles. Uh, actually, last time when I was here, uh, I already mentioned that uh, normally we uh, discuss about uh, the monarchy mm -hmm. uh, very, I mean, as usual, because the monarchy uh, is the, one of the supreme uh, social institutions of this country. But the thing is, like, uh, there are uh, several issues uh, from last night that are related to a certain extent of the personal, mm -hmm. which is the monarch not the monarchy. So uh, the thing is, like, uh, I have been trying to discuss with uh, several academics today uh, whether what kind of extent that uh, uh, people could be uh, talking about the monarch. Mm. The thing is, like, uh, we go back into the history, right, even, even during the Buddhist era. Uh, very often uh, when uh, people want to uh, address certain issues that are related uh, to the monarch himself or he, uh, herself, mm -hmm. uh, certain points sometimes they uh, use the technique of implication mm -hmm. uh, and also some kind of uh, uh, storytelling. So there are a lot of uh, academics or uh, those who mm -hmm. are concerned uh, with the issues trying to tell the stories to the uh, to, to the concerned monarchs uh, in the particular time. So then there are certain extents that uh, the opinion. Uh, could be delivered mm -hmm. uh, with, its, with certain extent of uh, implication, and that's what uh, had been done uh, uh, for so long. And then uh, many of the implications are really uh, on the friendly manner, mm -hmm. uh, not the, uh, not the being the attack or attacking to the person uh, uh, very directly. So you mean discussing the issue of the monarchy is not a taboo, but mm -hmm. depends on how you. How, how you how, do it? Yes. How, how, yeah. This is this is how you do it. Okay. Not not not. Uh, uh, it's not something that uh, is prohibited mm -hmm. for discussion because, like, as an institution, uh, it's very important mm -hmm. to discuss about. You know, in the eyes of many people, it looks like the table has been turned on the students now. Mm -hmm. So you think there's a need for the student, the protester, to come out and try to explain to the public what they really stand for on this issue? Uh, the thing is, I, I have been hoping that uh, the students would be able to elaborate mm. the three uh, demands that they have uh, announced last time uh, with certain details mm. and with certain uh, steps forward. So then uh, it can explain, I mean, they can explain uh, to the public of what they exactly want. Prime Minister has already expressed his uncomfortable feeling toward the, the gathering last night yeah. and probably he will be inviting all the students' representatives to be meeting with him. Should they take that opportunity to explain to Prime Minister and to the public what they meant by three demands or even more demands? Uh, the thing is, uh, it's very generosity of the Prime Minister to initiate that. Mm. But the thing is, uh, I'm not sure whether uh, the students will trust him. Mm. The thing is, like, uh, he is uh, also right now a major conflicted party, <laughs> one of the conflicted parties, yeah. like the major concern of the conflicted parties. Yeah. So, uh, because, because some <clears> of <throat> the demands were uh, aimed at him. 99% <laughs> of the demand uh, aims at him to step down yeah. and uh, hand power, uh, uh, handing uh, the power back yeah. to the people. So then uh, that's 
uh, that's the first step, whether that's he it. can gain mm -hmm. the trust from the students, at least to be facing, of, uh, I mean, to be facing uh, on, the, on the same table. Mm -hmm. So uh, if he could uh, build the trust for the students to go and talk to him, so then, uh, then we can talk, uh, then we can discuss about whether it is a, it is a suitability uh, that uh, the student will talk to him. And how do you see sentiment of the opponents of the youth protest? Because they also coming out to express their uneasiness of what's really happening. Uh, I, I still believe that the majority of the Thai people uh, used to uh, be the system of the constitutional monarchy. Uh, I'm not sure whether they are used to because they are keen on the system or because uh, they are used to because it has, I mean, they have been born mm. with the system itself. But uh, either way, uh, still some kind of uh, uh, belief that uh, this mm. country uh, might need uh, mm. to go on so. with the current system. Mm. I think like the majority of people still think in this way. So then uh, it is required uh, some explanation and of course, it might not come from the students themselves, but I think it should come from the media and mm. uh, several academics uh, who are expert in this, uh, like the mm. political system or uh, social system, uh, to come out and explain to the public that, uh, that what, uh, what are the extent of the criticism to the, uh, to the institution mm. uh, monarch, uh, monarchy or what uh, can be done in this system. So I think, I think it is the duty that we have to communicate mm -hmm. to several groups uh, of people who have different opinions right now. But as the leader of the country, what do you think the Prime Minister should do I mean, to prevent this thing from developing into a confrontation that may turn violent? Uh, the thing is like uh, the toleration of the, of the government officials mm -hmm. is a priority. Mm -hmm. The thing is like uh, the people who are holding the power and of, of course uh, armed uh, mm. are also most likely to use the violence against people. And even though, uh, as I mentioned, that even we don't have the physical violence, but uh, to use other sources of intimidation, mm. like static lawsuits against public participation, or you know this kind of uh, threatening, or this is already considered violence. Mm. I, I hope that the government would be uh, consider this as uh, some kind of a very keen suggestion for them, uh, and very frankly, frankly speaking, mm -hmm. uh, the government is a government for everyone, including those who are protesting mm -hmm. and uh, trying to kick the government mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So then the role of the government in protecting uh, the yeah. rights of the people to preserve our safety and secure, uh, security is very important as well. And moreover, the government should at least try to uh, explain to the public of what is the, uh, the uh, parameter of uh, the exercises under the uh, constitution right now and uh, what is very lawful for them to protect their rights, not just to, uh, to suppress them. Okay. And that's all from Thai PBS World tonight. Thank you very much for watching.